Visconti was certainly one of the greatest artists in the history of cinema, and I have to admit, I think his pictures seem richer, uh, grander, and more surprising to me with every passing year. Rocco was based on elements of Gisolfa Bridge by um, Milanese uh, writer uh, Giovanni Testori, but it was also inspired by themes in Thomas Mann's uh, Joseph and His Brothers, and of course Dostoevsky's The Idiot. Um, but unlike Senso and The Leopard, Rocco is set in the present, in the midst of the industrial and the economic boom that transformed Italy in the mid-60s. And in the film, it's, it's one southern family that is transformed, and that, that ultimately comes apart at the seams. Uh, Rocco and His Brothers from, uh, is certainly one of the most sumptuous black and white pictures I've ever seen. The images are shot by the great Giuseppe Rotuno, and they're pearly and elegant and lustrous. Uh, Visconti's epic narrative really unfolds with a mastery that is tragic. Rocco was produced by Goffredo Lombardo and scored by the great Nino Rota. Lucchino Visconti's masterpiece can be experienced once again in all its fearsome beauty and power. And now, Lucchino Visconti's masterpiece, Rocco and his brothers.